I think if they, they try to raise again, as I said, I don't mm -hmm. think so, but if they try to raise again, so many people, they are just paying the mortgages from the line of credits that they have oh, against their homes. And probably in a two, three, four months, they don't have any, any funds anymore mm. because they, you know, they, they spend all their savings. Mm. If the federal government in the United States, they decide to lower the rates, mm -hmm. saving more banks from collapsing, yeah. then Canada will shortly follow, you mm -hmm. know, it's like a mirror. It's what what happening there, Absolutely, and I yeah. think uh, the more the mortgage rate will go down. Mm -hmm. and, but in this in this case, you know the people they are thinking to buy now is the time to buy, to buy. because if they don't buy now, mm -hmm. probably in a couple of months with you know lower mortgage rates, yeah. then the prices will go up again. Yeah, it's so it's yeah. so interesting. It's always something going on. It's always in terms of uh, inventory how. How is the inventory right now? People are selling, not selling, still waiting. More people want to buy, less people <laughs> want to sell. What what is the situation? So, right so depending now? depending on um, depending on the city. For example, okay. in London, you know, I sold uh, like in January. You know, the bottom of mm -hmm. um, you know the price, um, uh, the pricing for homes. Um, they were about I don't know. 350 homes detached homes for sale at one point. At one point. So you know it's it's a big number and um, in some cities uh, they they, we, they don't have too much inventory. So mm -hmm. so depending each city is different, each mm -hmm. zone is different. Yeah. And uh, I'm um, you know I think if they they try to raise again, as I said, I don't mm -hmm. think so. But if they try to raise again. So many people they are just paying the mortgages from the line of credits that they have oh, against their homes. And probably in a two, three, four months, they don't have any any funds anymore mm. because they, you know, they they spend all their savings, mm. and it will be bad for the economy. Because in yeah. in Canada, especially in Ontario, um, the you know the um, let's say the lead um, um, you know um, sector in economy is the real, uh, house housing real estate. So if the how the price of the housing they are going down, all the economy is going down. Yeah, everything so is this going is to be bad affected. for for everyone. I know. Hopefully, it will well, not happen. But yeah. you know, you never know. Yeah, it's uh, so um, it's interesting because we talked last time about people um, coming back to work because a few years back they work remotely, they invested in a cottage. Now they try to sell it to come to back they, in they the city. Try to sell it, and so I'm thinking probably more people are buying right now. They're looking to buy properties or apartments or I don't know whatever they they afford to buy. Pro probably I'm assuming no. So it's yeah, so it's still like it, it's very it's a very interesting situation. Um, so many companies they uh, they try to get back. Uh, uh, like before COVID and uh, ask their, um, you know, employees to come and work from, mm -hmm. um, you know, from office. In the office, um, yes, uh, on site. So, yes, um, the, still the government, I understood that uh, they give another one year to uh, assess if it's mm. okay or not. Okay. Um, so the government um, employees, they still have, I think, in some cases, one year to, you know, to uh, to um, get those assess assessments okay. and then to see if um, it's uh, really, you know, a good idea or a bad idea. Mm -hmm. But for some private companies, they force them to come right away. Yeah. So, you know, they are, it's, a, it's a kind of a difficult situation for them because they move from Toronto, they sold everything in Toronto, they move to Muskoka or to yes. another, you know, cottage destinations mm. and now they are forced to come back. Come back. Yeah. Um, you know, so there are some, you know, cottages on the market and, uh, you know, so and they, uh, so it's, um, you know, it's, it, they try to sell it and to come back. It's, mm -hmm. it's so, you know, it's, it's so sad somehow is, because yeah. they, you know, they spend money to sell yeah. and then buy, they, they purchase that one, they, they pay land transfer tax and now yeah. they have to pay double mm -hmm. if they come in Toronto, yeah. but life is life. So we don't know what's going on like in the mm -hmm. future, you know, if, if the government says, you have to come back, then more properties will be yeah. on the market. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's a pretty difficult situation, to be honest. You don't know what to expect, you, uh, Yeah, I you think. don't know. Yeah, to be honest, after uh, the pandemic, if I learned anything is 
I can expect anything to happen. I, before I was only be like, oh no, we are pretty, I'm pretty safe or, you know, with the work or whatever I was doing. But now I learn people are not even that committed like before. People before it would be like, if they will be like late for a meeting, they will be more ashamed, more like, oh, so sorry. But now they feel like more like normal, to be honest. Yeah. And uh, I see those changes and um, I see we can expect anything. Anything, honestly. yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's unpredictable. It's unpredictable. Whatever. We have to stay flexible. We have to stay adaptable. We have to to see what's the best, what best works for us, right? It's always like uh, um, you, you have to, to assess what is the situation. It's hard to predict the, the future. It's yeah, it's so yeah, it's so different than before.